at Copper Mountain. I don't think a lot of people know we have this going on up high. It's mid-June, but Olivia Butchermovich is still talking about skiing. Yeah, this is our venue for spring training. The at ski the area closed to the public two months ago, but since then has been open to ski race training for elite athletes. You have these younger kids and then we have some of these national team athletes like Michaela Schifrin, you know, utilizing our training facility. And so it really, it's the whole spectrum. Who have gone to the top of the mountain. We're around 12,000 feet right now. Where it still looks like winter to find snow and skiing. This is the level you have to be at to kind of preserve the surface and keep it cool enough. Stretching out, they're on snow racing into the summer. We are open for summer right now, which is wild. So we have golf and stuff going on in the villages. And Olivia says staying sharp until the fall when these racers will be racing to come back. It really just preps them for fall and the winter. Training never ends when it comes to a ski season. For most of us, A-Basin's got everyone beat, but when it comes to the ski season for these elite athletes, skiers and snowboarders, Copper really has the season that extends almost all year. 11 months of training here at Copper Mountain. Gary, Corey, Natasha, September is the only month when they don't have on-snow <laughs> training here at Copper Mountain, so that is the big incentive to beat the heat. Become a skier or a snowboarder at <laughs> some high level and just train all year. That, that, is, that is the craziest, yeah. but it just shows you know, practice, practice, practice. That's why they're so good at what they do. Yeah. Man. Right? Practice keeps you cool. There you apparently. go. Apparently. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Matt, Copper's thanks.